Hello to everyone. Now today we are going to study how to give priority to double bonded compound in geometrical isomerism or how to give priority to double bonded group in EZ normal catcher. This is our third lecture of geometrical isomerism. Now, so today we will focus on how to give priority to double bonded and cyclic groups. Suppose we have to find EZ of this pi bond and one of the group is pi, pi bond or one of the group is cyclic then how to give priority to this double bonded group, how to give priority to this cyclic compound. This concept we are going to discuss today, got it? So what EZ suggests, EZ suggests that whenever there is a cyclic compound or double bonded compound, first you have to convert into saturated compound, first you have to convert into saturated compound, then you can compare for EZ. For example, whenever the group is double bonded, double bonded group is there. So what you have to do, you have to convert into saturated. The simple, the rule is that you can, you will shift this atom here and you will shift this atom here. Break pi bond and you will write this atom here and this atom here. Now this is carbon, I will write carb y below the carbon and I will write carbon below the y, this. In this way you have to convert pi bond to saturated. Let us take one more example. Whenever there is a pi bond, you have to write this atom here and you have to write this atom here. If I shift this atom here, then carbon, one of the valency will be carbon oxygen. If I shift atom here, oxygen and carbon will be there. In this way, LDH will be written. Now, if there is an acid, what you have to do? You have to write this atom below oxygen and you have to write oxygen below this atom. Just this atom below this and this atom below this. In this way, we will got this. Now, now we have to compare LDH and acid, which will given, which will be have high priority in EZ. What you have to do, you have to find out common. This carbon is common, after common there is a hydrogen and there is a oxygen. This means acid is given priority over LDH because oxygen has higher atomic number than hydrogen. So it is very simple technique, what you have to convert into saturated group and then you have to compare. Now, if there is a triple bond. In case of triple bond, you have to write this carbon twice across Y and you have to write Y twice across carbon, got it? So when I convert this saturated compound, then I will write Y twice this carbon, carbon Y Y and I will write carbon twice this Y, carbon carbon, got it? Now let us take example, carbon nitrogen, you have to write this nitrogen twice with carbon and when carbon is shifting this, this means you have to write nitrogen along with two carbon. If I will break, I will got this. Nitrogen written twice below this carbon, carbon written twice across this nitrogen. Now, if there is an alkyne, what you have to do in alkyne? You have to write this carbon twice here, carbon, carbon. You have to write this atom twice here. Now, when you have to write this twice, whenever there is a triple bond. Now, if I ask you to compare cyanide and alkyne, which will be given high priority? Cyanide will be given high priority. Why it is high priority? Because carbon is common and then there is a nitrogen, therefore cyanide is given priority over alkyne. Got it? Pause the video and write these examples. Then we will go for cyclic compound and then we will try some examples. Now, in case of cyclic, how to convert cyclic into open chain? Suppose we have to compare priority of this and this. What you have to do? You have to, in case of cyclic, break this bond. Now, this well, one of the valency of oxygen is unsatisfied. You have to satisfy this remaining valency by this atom. This atom will be satisfied, this atom. So, what you have to write? Carbon, oxygen, oxygen and this carbon. Got it? 
if I break this bond, one of the valency of oxygen is remaining unsatisfied. I have to write this carbon below this oxygen. So if I breaking this bond, how I will write? Oxygen, oxygen and then carbon. Simply rule is that you have to cut this valency and the valency must be satisfied by this atom. You have to cut this valency, this valency is satisfied by this atom. Similarly in this example, suppose I will do the number 1 and 2. If I break this bond, then what will be the valency of this carbon? Carbon, oxygen, carbon, carbon, oxygen, 1, 2, oxygen and remaining valency is satisfied by this atom means carbon. Similarly, if I break this bond, if I break this bond, then I will write, suppose, oh, sorry, break this bond, I will write oxygen, carbon, carbon, oxygen and valency is satisfied by this atom. This is 2, 1, oxygen, carbon, got it? Now we have to compare these two which will be given high priority. So simply we have to write a, draw a line across a common. This is common, carbon, O, O common, carbon, O, O common. Then again oxygen, oxygen and there is a carbon, carbon. This means first point of difference, the oxygen has higher atomic number than carbon. This will be given high priority. You got it? If you feel difficulty in understanding this, just rewind the video and watch the expression again. Now similarly, if you have to break this ring, what you have to do? You have to break this bond and I will number the carbon, 1, 2, 3. If I break this bond, 1, 2, 3. The valency of this carbon is satisfied by this atom, this carbon and remaining valency is satisfied by hydrogen. Whatever valency I am not writing, this means they are satisfied by hydrogen. Similarly, if you break this bond, then 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2 and remaining valency is satisfied by this carbon. Similarly, I number this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I break this bond, what I have to write? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and remaining valence satisfied by carbon. Similarly, I have break this bond, then I have to write 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2 and remaining valence is satisfied by this atom. In this way, we can convert this cyclic to open chain. Now we have to compare. So what is the common? This 3 carbon is common, this 3 carbon is common. After common, there will be a hydrogen and there is a carbon. Therefore, it will be given high priority. Got it? You have to simply break the ring and then you have to so which atoms are common and after common, you have to go for a first point of difference. Pause the video and write all examples. Now, if we have to compare these two, then first we have to break pi bond. How will you break pi bond? We will write this atom here and this atom here and we will got this. This is our 2 degree carbon and this is our 2 degree and this is our 3 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree. So what we have to do? 3 degree is given high priority. In case of what I want to explain, I, explain, I want to explain you how to give priority to double bonded plus cyclic compound. So in case of double bonded, you have to write these two atoms, carbon, carbon, then carbon, carbon, then again carbon, carbon. Got it? Then what you have to do? First break pi bond. After breaking pi bond, we will break this bond. We will write complete valency here and remaining valency is satisfied by carbon. This we will got. If I number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and remaining valency is satisfied by carbon. If I break this bond, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, remaining valency is satisfied by carbon. Now which will be given high priority? This will be given high priority. Got it? Now this is a special case. For example, you have to give priority to pi bond and cyclic. So what you have to do? Break the pi bond. After breaking pi bond, you will get this. But this is an imaginary and this is the real one. Then which will be given priority over? Priority must be given to real. Real is given preference over imaginary. This is applicable when exactly same valency is forming.
Now try these examples. So let us check answers. So what is the answer for first? Across this pi bond we have to find Ez. If you will break this ring then phosphorus and sulphur is nearer. How will you break this ring? There will be a carbon. First there is a carbon then phosphorus sulphur. Slightly printing mistake is there writing mistake is there means this valence is like this. So, this is high priority, this is high priority, this means it is our E isomer. Similarly, in this example, if I break this pi bond, then there will be a 3 degree carbon and there is a 2 degree. This is high priority. If I break this pi bond, then there is a H, there is a carbon. This is high priority. This means it is a Z. Across this pi bond, this CH2OH, if I break CHO, I will write this CS2, this will be given high priority. In this two example, this will give a high priority, this means it is our E isomer. What about fourth? Across this pi bond, this will be given high priority and this will be given high priority means it is our E. Fifth, there will be H, H, O, carbon, 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 highest versus highest, this will be given high priority. And this is a first point of difference. This is 2 degree carbon and this is our 3 degree carbon. This will be given high priority. This means it is our Z. Similarly, try for 6th and 7th. In case of 6th, in these two after carbon, carbon, HS sulfur, there will be oxygen highest versus highest this. This will be acid high priority E. And what about 7th? If we break pi bond, we will write this, this, this. This means it is a real and we write this is a real, this is imaginary. Real is given preference. And if we break ring, there will be extra carbon. If we break this ring, carbon, 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 carbon. While there is a hydrogen, this means it is a high priority. You have to simply follow that rule which I, which I taught right now and then you have to compare first point of difference. Got it? And now that is all for today. If you have any doubt, you can write in our comment section and please <coughs> share this video among your friends who are living across South India, across South India or across different countries who want to learn organic chemistry in this English medium language. Now there will be one more lecture on geometrical isomerism and we will learn in that lecture how to find total number of GI, what is the sin and anti and that will be our last lecture. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.